Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a Medieval City. Last episode, we done a difficult diagonal castle wall here. Well, I've gone ahead and completed it on the other side. So we're all up to date and, uh, you know, <laughs> nothing sort of fallen behind. And uh, today, I would like to work on a straight piece. Will I do that one or that one? And then do the portcullis. In fact, it'd be nice if we could get all of the castle walls in that would be just amazing wouldn't it in fact i might still have it pasted you know that castle wall doesn't line up how we should can i fix this is there a way because i i have it in the end to do the wall i done a copy and paste and it pasted like 80 percent of what i needed over if i didn't want to move that one I probably do because that's touching that now no I don't want to move that so we're gonna draw this out from the middle like we had before plus this is making the castle bigger which will make a lot of you happy as well because I know a lot of you just like having big castles if we moved oh no it makes it smaller <laughs> we'll move that, that this one in a little bit don't worry it's not that much smaller it's like three blocks or something like that all the way up to the... Oh, let's turn these off. It's making my eyes got all a blurry. A wand. Bing! And down this Oops, side. Already had one in there. Uh, and then how far do we need to go over? We'll have to go... One. Two. Three. I think, I think four. One, two, three, four. Let's try here. One more. I can't remember where I was. That is right. So now we go from, like I said before, wood to wood. Hello? Loading? I was like, where's, where's the pink thing? I know I had a pink tower somewhere. And the only thing that that's done is actually just made this wall a little bit smaller. And uh, to be honest, we're not that bothered about that, right? No, I didn't think so. So, hang on a minute. If I stood here. Oh, no, I need to copy him. Right. I, it's possible. This is possible for us to do. We'll go. I'll grab that one. No, I'll grab that one. No, I'll grab that one. And this one. And I'll stand here and copy. And then I'll stand on here and paste. Sweet. Oh, and it even took the back as well. Most of the back. See that's an easy we can then easily fill that in. So that'll be that'll be that. In fact, let me do that. Let me finish off this wall now, because we know what it's going to look like. It's just saved me literally about an hour's worth of time. I'll just finish it off and be back. All right, I won't kid you. That still took a long time. <laughs> took a lot longer than I thought. But we've got the other wall, diagonal wall in over here now as well. Really, really cool. The middle shape here is going to have to change up a little bit. But not too much that's going to really affect anything. A lot of you guys might be thinking, oh, it's getting really quite small in there. I mean, there's not a lot of room. The actual building, like these these cubes that we made to sort of sketch out a, a skeleton, will be connected to the walls in a lot of places as well. It'll all be sort of intersected and, 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 and tight together. It'll look really cool. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. This isn't a Let's Build a Castle series. It's... Let's build a city series, so just that we need a castle in it. So we're not focusing, like, a huge amount on, on making it the castle, the, the main feature, if you like. So, now we need to work on a flat section, obviously. We need to get rid of the window in here. We need to make sure that this is on the correct height to line up with that one over there. Otherwise, that would be weird. I'm not saying that we're not going to put any effort into the castle, because we are. I mean, you can see it's looking really cool, but we—I don't want to make uh, 
<laughs> half a million block diameter castle with working this and functioning that it's just not what this series is for do you know what i mean we, we, we're making a cool looking castle but trying to keep it within the realms of scale to everything else okay i think we need to go five blocks in diameter to make it sort of match this side uh like the diagonal portions like does that look like the same width as that yeah it does doesn't it it looks about right for us here so then a lot of this now is going to be really simple and, and, and quick for us because we know that they have to go along there and we know that like they can go up here and it doesn't matter if it's just off center by one it, it's not going to make absolutely any difference uh we can do the other side at a later date we know that these slabs go in the middle here like so. We know that the stairs... We could do the stairs like this now on the straight portions. I think that's what we'll do. Like that. Gets them up nice and high. We know underneath here. We need to add an extra block of them. And then a stair to finish those off underneath. We know that there to here for the moment can be stone and then we'll change it up later we know that this can run all the way along there like that what are you funny blocks doing there uh like so and then there's sort of a straight piece of wall in at the bottom here we know oh have i done those on that one yeah they're all good on that side i think most of them were copied and pasted over like here look see see this look at this that should be like that it's the little details that way that way that way and then down here yep need to try and keep on top of those ones like that like that get in there i'll do it like that it's it i'll put it as a full block there you go it's fine uh it's just because that this wall is like a couple of blocks longer than that one like like one or two literally only one or two blocks but it just throws up the pattern of being perfect but it doesn't matter uh okay logs you know those logs sort of work quite well we might just be able to get away with doing the x design on here and not worry about because the logs go down on the left and the right and it makes sense to just leave them there uh we have a middle point well sort of middle point no we don't uh could we get away with making the x one block wider then seeing as though it's on the flat section it's too low it should be one block below the stairs it should be there Leaves that one, that one, yes, perfectly in the middle. Let me just back off. Yeah, you know what? It, it looks fine. It looks fine. It looks off, off center at the moment because we've got like a part of the wall here which is like textured correctly. So let's fix that now. Boom. We have ourselves a straight wall. Nice and easy. Nice and simple. In fact, I like the diagonal walls better. Ah, it's because we don't have these bottom ones in. That's what it is. Look, we go... Uh, what do we need to go? Do we go up that high? Yeah. That one. That one. That one. I knew there was something not quite right. There we go. Now it all makes sense. Okay, I like that. So that could be the straight walls on all of the straight wall sides. There, that one, and that one. And then we've got the front portcullis. You know, I'm not sure if we're going to have enough time to do that today. Uh, let's do it anyway. Okay, um, let's take out these windows. Let's at least get it started. We are perfectly in line, right? Good. I think we can do it. I think it feels like I've, it's been a longer episode because I've done that off-camera stuff doing the wall in it. 
made it seem like a really long episode already, but I think we're not that far in at the moment. Okay, uh, let's go from... Well, it'd be cool if we could walk all the way through, wouldn't it? So if we take this window out too... Oh, and I know we haven't done like the doorways on those sections either. That's like something that we could easily figure out later on. So we have that one, that one, and that one. Right? Wrong height. Whoops. That's why you always test these out first. There we go. That's the height that we want. And we'll want this to be five blocks wide as well. So we'll just put the three along here first. Add the fourth one. And the fifth one. Nice thick wall all the way around. Okay, like that. We'll make it go to like a three wide here so we don't end up... Uh, yeah, like that. So we don't end up having like a giant wide door like that. That would just look weird. And uh, although I'm replacing everything with stone brick at the moment, that'll all hide up uh, once we start sort of getting there, getting further into it. So let's work from the top down. Let's work about what we know. We don't need it to be an arch top or anything like that. I think a straight flat cap here would be fine for us we'll have oh perfect it is a like a even number as well so moving that over last episode was the best thing that we could have done because now we sort of start on a slab and we end on a slab it's not important when you're doing like the side walls and stuff but when you're doing the front entrance you really want it to to be perfect don't you I have those ones and those ones. So we're going to try and keep the same wall design throughout here. So we can bring these down like this. And those on there. Good. Um, but then we need uh, like a stopper somewhere down here. So let's put like... Let's try along here first. If not, we can move it down by a block. <laughs> Goodbye, mountain. Like, if the portcullis was in the middle, I think that's a pretty good height. Yeah, I think that's what we'll go for. So, let's match the other side before we get too far ahead. Like that. And along there like that. Okay, on the inside here, we just fill it with stone, like we do with all the other parts. We'll just fill it with stone first. I might as well fill the other side while I'm here and do it all in one shoot. Like this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Get out of here. I don't need any of them. It doesn't make sense to have them in here. And then that one to that one. Mix in some texture. Kaboomski. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, you know what would be cool as well? I want a log going that way. I know we're I know we doing all the log. No, no, no. We keep all the logs vertical. That's what we said last episode. That's what we're going to stick to. We'll keep all the, all the logs vertical. But we need we need some more logs in here. I'm thinking like that. But then how do we stop that? How how do we end it? Do we do that? See now it looks too low. Now, now we don't look like we've got sort of enough room in here. Who? Huh? Not a lot of fence there. Thank you. Uh, stair, stair, slab, 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 slab. Try and get a bit of an arch. Okay. And they can just simply have blocks there to hide that up. Why are we... Why am I one block out somewhere? How? 
Pass auf. Aha. Found you. Um, that one. That one. That's better. Uh, okay. That one. Just trying to get something to work here. I'm not happy with it yet. Nope, I don't like it. Let's take all of that away and we'll try again. I like the logs where they are. The logs going up there is correct, right? If we can extend that up by another one. And then that's fine, right? Now they need to come down all the way to where they are. Because that's the pattern that we have. Like on the castle walls on the side. And I want to keep that sort of going all the way around. But then how do I... Let me just try putting a log this way. You know, it, it might just be that's what's needed. Let's mix in some other blocks here. And then... I like that. I think that really signifies an entrance there. Don't you? Oh, it looks really cool with the walls and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll go with that then. Let's very quickly add this on the other side. So that one goes away. Add in some random blocks here. Oh, that's good. Uh, so we're, we're matching on both sides. Oh, apart from... I think I started down, if I remember correctly. Yeah, started down. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Like that. On the underside here, we'll take those blocks out. Um, and I think we'll do something like this to hide up the underside of that. While also still seeing half of the log texture while on the inside and then I want to have this going here and here and then just to hide it all up we'll also put these like this and then we put it along the top as well to hide up the wood from underneath now what we can do is we get fences. Well, I could probably just do this by this. We have fence like to there to there. Replace air with fence. And it gives us like a little portcullis that we can see go sort of up. And it goes up sort of to a pretty good height. Now how high do we want it? I think that's probably a good height. You can see the fence because when you look at it straight on. You can see it from down here. I think that works for us. I sort of like that. Uh, wool. I sort of like that. What do you guys think? Or that? Nope. Don't like it as much. I like that. It's a little bit of embellishment onto the castle. Cool. Take that away. I think that's cool for a portcullis, right? Oh, hang on. Oh, I might have forgotten this on a lot of parts as well, actually. I forgot about this strip that goes across. Uh, <laughs> on what level? This level right here. I think I forgot this on a lot of it. I don't want to go over the wood with it. 
Am I on the right one? Yeah. Half a slab down. Okay, I can remember that. Like that. Yeah, look, I forgot it on here and everything. Uh, half slab down. Surely that... I forgot it on the back side as well of this one. Yeah, so we have it poking out. I need some slabs, I think, then. Do I? There. Oops, not full box. More slabs. Just when you thought you were getting close to complete, <laughs> completing a section. Uh, that's wrong as well. Oh, what's... No, I didn't need those underneath. What was going on? Why was I off? I started off wrong. Ooh, need that one. I just missed that one slab and it threw me off all that long. Okay. Along here. And then along this back one. And then we need to do that one as well. I can't believe I forgot that. Uh, I won't do it there. Okay. It's a really important detail as well. That strip is really, really important. I bet you guys were screaming at me. Okay. There we go. Looks a million times better. Absolute million times better. And this should i'm gonna do this i'm gonna take those ones out and i'm gonna put the stairs running like this instead and that way we get the same bulge effect that we get on the diagonal see how on the on the diagonal here it sort of bulges out it only works because it's diagonal so on here we just added another block at the back and then bulge that out by one as well all right now we're looking really really cool I'm going to leave the episode there, though, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode.